Biden in Northern Ireland and Ireland, Ireland. President Biden and Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar shake hands during a St. Patrick's Day reception in the East Room of the White House on March 17. Demetrius Freeman slash The Washington Post, President Biden will travel next week to Northern Ireland to mark the 25th anniversary of a landmark peace accord there before heading to Ireland, his ancestral homeland, as part of a four-day trip. The White House formally announced Wednesday Biden plans to head to Belfast on Tuesday to mark the tremendous progress since the signing of the U.S. brokered Good Friday Agreement, which largely ended 30 years of sectarian violence between pro-Ireland, Catholics and pro-Britain Protestants, the White House said. His trip will come a week before a host of top leaders, including King Charles III, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, planned to be in Belfast for the official anniversary celebrations of a deal brokered during Clinton's presidency during Biden's visit. He will also underscore the readiness of the United States to support Northern Ireland's vast economic potential, the White House said. Northern Ireland, with a population of nearly 2 million, is one of the four countries that make up the United Kingdom. Biden is scheduled to arrive in Ireland next Wednesday. That leg of his trip will include an address in County Mayo, on the country's west coast, to celebrate the deep, historic ties that link Americans and the Irish. Beyond diplomatic engagements, Biden is also expected to take some time to bask in his ancestral homeland. Biden, whose family emigrated from Ireland, holds deep affection for the country. He regularly quotes Irish poetry, concedes he has an Irish temper and is quick to unspool his Irish lineage as a proud descendant of the Bluets of County Mayo and the Finnegans of County Louth. As many of you know, I, like all of you, take pride in my Irish ancestry, Biden said at the White House St. Patrick's Day celebration this year. And as long as I can remember, it's been sort of part of my soul. Officials have compared the Ireland portion of Biden's trip to one he took in 2016, near the end of his tenure as vice president under President Barack Obama. Biden, accompanied by his siblings, his daughter, and some of his grandchildren, spent six days in Ireland, including stops in his ancestral hometowns. The upcoming four-day trip does not include an announced meeting with Charles, whose realms as king include Northern Ireland. Neither does Biden plan to attend the coronation of Charles next month, when First Lady Jill Biden will lead the U.S. delegation to the United Kingdom. Biden's decision has drawn some scrutiny, but it is not unusual, given that no previous U.S. Fact, president has attended say that a British at this stage, looking unlikely. The fact is, there's not even any confirmation the on president Wednesday, will visit the Stormont at any point during uh, uh, his very short trip here. Week, we are told there will Biden be a keynote speech at another Belfast city centre location. Um, that will be Biden uh, focused very much on business and the economy. There may be a second venue at some point in the city centre. As I'm told at this stage, that is not yet confirmed. As I say, could leave quite early in the Wednesday afternoon. So his itinerary, certainly in Northern Ireland, seems to be pretty short and is very short in detail at this point. OK, well, any more details, Michal, about what he's get up to south of the border? The expectation, David, is that he will arrive in Dublin uh, on Wednesday evening, perhaps late in the evening. And it is seen now as quite a strong possibility, once again, that he might stop in County Louth on his way to Dublin. Then on Thursday, it does seem quite likely now that at perhaps around three o'clock here there will be a joint address to the Dáil and Shannon, Joe Biden becoming the first US president since Bill Clinton to do so. Leinster House has been awash with security people and security checks taking place all day today in an expectation that this will happen, although it hasn't been confirmed yet. There will be meetings too with President Michael D. Higgins and with the Taoiseach and it's thought likely that, that there would be possible receptions at Farmley and also Dublin Castle. It is clear then that the last day of the visit uh, will feature a trip to Mayo. 
The Taoiseach has been speaking about this visit this evening. He said Joe Biden will bring with him a very big team and there will be many meetings involved, uh, that it won't just be a meeting with the Taoiseach and with the President. He said too, though, it is his understanding that the First Lady won't be travelling uh, with President Biden. He was asked what was the overall objective of this visit and this is what he had to say. The number one objective of um, President Biden's visit to Ireland uh, is to welcome a son of Ireland home, uh, to welcome home a great Irish-American president, uh, and to cement and strengthen the really good relationship that we have at the moment with the US. Uh, I don't think relations have ever been stronger or closer between Ireland and the US, and we want to cement that. The Taoiseach said too that in his discussions with the US President there would be a focus on things like international security. He said Ireland and the US are allies and they face similar threats when it comes to things like cyber attacks. Okay, well more on this later in the programme, but for now, Mihal and Vincent, thank you for that.